Hi everyone, Elizabeth here. I'm sure by now you've heard of the problems of the egg shortages in the uh, grocery stores and just the, the problems of chickens not producing eggs. And, you know, people are talking about how um, it's it's the winter time that's causing some of this these problems. However, I've watched so many videos, I've talked, not talked, I've read so many different articles, listened to so many different perspectives on people or farmers who um, were having problems with their chickens producing eggs. And in reality, humans and chickens are not that different. So when you have a very well-versed understanding of holistic health or nutritional healing or understanding how human movement and exercise affects the body, you see that humans and chickens are really not too much different. Um, we are meant to free range to some degree. So the human body was not meant to sit in front of a computer for eight to 10 hours a day, now even longer, and then sleep and sit around for 20 plus hours a day, maybe move in total about two to four hours a day. So in reality, we are kind of in our own cage, um, similar to some of these chickens who are in these mass industrial farms. Industrial farming, which is very much kind of goes against all the uh, natural methods of, I guess, farming, farming techniques that are that are more natural and integrative um, in general. So where am I going with this? When I started seeing all of these videos and a couple of people said once they started feeding their chickens table scraps, um, they started producing eggs within, you know, the next day. And that made me think, yeah, it's probably the feed. Um, obviously, I can't prove that because I'm not really going down that rabbit hole. But I would say from working with humans and seeing a bunch of my friends from high school and a bunch of my friends from college go through infertility issues, um, friends from high school that started smoking at the age of, you know, 16, 17, um, and just seeing their journey through pre predominantly Facebook, because I don't really keep in touch with many people from my youth, my younger years too much anymore. Um, I have just noticed that there's a general consensus between the people who've lived a certain type of lifestyle, uh, as well as their ability to reproduce or not reproduce. So where am I going with this? I believe that there has been some alteration to the chicken feed that has not provided enough nutrients to give the chickens the ability to produce eggs. The same thing goes for humans. When you understand human development from the last you know, several hundred years, I understand that there's a massive um, questioning process right now with our human history. But say, let's analyze the medieval times. A lot of women during those eras, or let's just say even pre-1900, suffered a lot of times from uh, miscarriages. And a lot of this had to do with a lack of nutrition in their diet, whether it was enough calories or enough type of calories, depending on what type of environment you live in. Um, your body is gonna respond differently when you're living in a desert versus when you're living in the, the Arctic area or maybe those more Northern Nordic countries. Um, so nutrition plays a vital role in the ability to produce offspring. Um, if you look at the, the bones of a child, like a seven-year-old kid from the medieval time versus a seven-year-old kid today, you understand uh, there's a drastic difference in nutrients on top of how we have become so obese and so much bigger has to do a lot of times with the hormones that are pumped into the food. So where am I going with this? Well, considering um, two major things that will change your life is if you start diving deep into toxicology, you will start to understand that toxic toxicity, excuse me, is the root and cause to the majority of diseases. If you're not fully quite well versed and understand with that um, or understand that, it, it takes a little bit of time to start connecting the dots. But once you do understand that toxicity is the root of disease, you can see in this modern time how we have been poisoned, we are literally being poisoned on all areas from the air 
from the earth, the shitty soil to the water. Um, I'm also making, wanted to make this video in, because I'm originally from Ohio. So seeing what's happened in, in pa East Palestine, Ohio, um, on this train explosion and all of this, I think it's the PVC that has been dumped into the river, um, which if I understand correctly through a different analysis, an analytical video I watched, um, th this water that's going from the Ohio River will leak into the Mississippi River and eventually start fucking up some land down there. So once you start realizing that we have been, our blood has been um, highly toxic, uh, we, we've injected ourselves with, with toxicity, not even just from the sea injection, but from other ones, the flu shot. Um, I'm going to, I can link the PDF down below, but um, this PDF is from 2021 and it's the ingredients of pre predominantly all of all of the, the shots, okay? So you look at the flu shot, you can look at the rabies V and all of that. And um, you predominantly see formaldehyde in, in, in there, okay? Um, I hope this video doesn't get banned uh, or I hope my channel doesn't get flagged for me doing this video. Um, so when you look at formaldehyde and then you look at what it's used for in corpses, you can kind of connect the dots on television shows like The Walking Dead, okay? So, um, the toxicity is there. Uh, it's, it's also in the water. Um, like I said, it's in the food. If you're eating McDonald's and fast food, you're pretty much eating poison, uh, cause it's not even real food. It's fake food. Um, so if you just type in the, the little Google machine, what causes infertility, you you know, emedicinehealth.com uh, pulls up infertility has many causes that include pelvic inflammatory disease, endometriosis, toxic effects from drugs and alcohol, environmental and occupational factors and toxicity, age, over-exercise, and inadequate diet. So what are the two main things that humans in America have been suffering with the last 10, 20, 30 years? There's been a rise in chemicals, a rise in chemicals in our food, so poisoned food, fake food, let's put it that way. Obese people are not lacking in calories. They are lacking in nutritional substance. They are lacking predominantly in, in nutrients to keep their body going. So they're not lacking in calories. It's just they're... They're lacking in life and vitality because of the, the generally the food sources they eat or the quantity that they eat. Um, and then from there you have, uh, uh, where was I going with this? And then, then from there, well, let's think about this. We have a lack of exercise over the last 20, 30 years with the rise of technology. Kids don't really go outside and play anymore like they used to, to not get vitamin D. So it's, it is all interconnected. But um, the toxicity effect is one of the major things. And this goes beyond just tobacco and drinking alcohol, I guess, as well as fast food. I mean, it's, it's the stuff you ingest from pharmaceuticals um, to solutions that are running around your blood. But also, yeah, so, oh, that's where I was going. It's just the combination of an adequate diet. What, what type of people generally have infertility problems? They're usually obese or overweight or they're individuals who are living a very unhealthy lifestyle. Some of this could be spiritual, but humans and chickens are no different. So once you start understanding those two things, nutritional, uh, in Nutritional healing, should I'll, I'll use that word, um, not just knowing nutrition, because anybody can go and read nutrition about how it's um, energy in versus energy out equals, you know, your caloric deficit or a caloric increase. And some of that does have some value, but it's also about the quality of the nutrients that you eat. Um, so chickens really are no different. So I'm going to say it's the feed. I fucking feel it down in my gut. I could be wrong, but I mean, this is just, it's no mistake. All right. So in East Palestine, when this 
friggin' poison has just ran through the river and through the earth. I mean, you have fish and frogs swimming dead. You have guys, foxes, the guy, you know, one guy just ran and started having like chronic diarrhea. So, you know, it's like we really are being hit from all angles and it's really getting really, really tiring. Um, you know, maybe these are normal clouds for today, but other days it doesn't look like that. I will say, um, as somebody who is originally from Ohio, middle America has been poisoned more than other parts of the country. It's part, like, pardon me, I'm like done with the coasts, but in some degrees, it's like our water and our food supply is just, um, not as bad. We, you know, you don't have a bunch of the pesticides that have been sprayed through all of that farmland. Um, Seattle generally had uh, some better water supply. It was some of the best water supply in um, in the nation. I mean, to drink right from the tap was pretty clean. It didn't taste as gross as some other places like I've been in Chicago and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we are meant to move. We are meant to be out in the sun. We are meant to produce offspring um, and that comes from a nutrient dense diet that comes from a healthy lifestyle and it's really hard to have that when you're constantly being poisoned through your food supply or the cheapening of the food. Um, so if you start connecting the dots uh, with humans, you start to see that chickens really are no different. And um, yeah, I'll just say like chronic disease has increased, like at some point you have to start asking questions because chronic disease has increased, cancer rates have increased, um, death counts have increased. So all of this has been going on. Chronic diseases are at an all time high, cancer is getting worse. So what what is it? A lot of it is genuinely from an overload of toxicity and that's where detoxing this stuff is out. Uh, if we want to end on the Mayo Clinic, which is science, so if any of these YouTube fuckers flag, uh, flag this video, they can go to hell because it's on the mayoclinic.org. Uh, let's see here. We have risk factors for infertility. Well, sure, there's age, tobacco use, alcohol use. We all know that. Um, hmm, amazing how Hollywood programs you to uh, drink your problems away rather than sitting down and facing the shit that you have to deal with. Being overweight, amazing how fast food is so popular in this country and we've just bloated ourselves up with a bunch of sugar and fake food and now the system wants you to eat bugs. Um, being underweight, you don't really have too many problems. We got exercise issues. There was some good stuff on here. Hold on a second. We have causes of female infertility. Doo, 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 doo. We have, oh, causes of male infertility. We have ex overexposure to certain environmental factors such as pesticides and other chemicals and radiation. Cigarette smoking, alcohol, marijuana, anabolic steroids, and taking medicines to treat bacterial infections, high blood pressure, and depression can also affect male infertility. Frequent exposure to heat, such as in saunas and hot tubs, can raise body temperature and may affect sperm production. Yeah, so that's great. Oh, if you want to talk about male infertility um, as well, uh, I just recently discovered that sleeping in polyester sheets and, and wearing a bunch of polyester is actually really bad. There was a study done, I think it was in Egypt from like 1992. Just type it into Google, you'll find the research study. Um, that yeah, polyester, synthetic fibers affect affect male male infertility. And so as I just did my last video about a look into textiles, you can see this degeneration process from we once used a bunch of natural fibers, um, linen, wool, cotton, and then the synthetic realm started coming into the mid-century and a lot into the 80s and 90s. Um yeah, so let's see here. Uh, I thought there was one other thing that kind of talked about. Some of it's basic. We all know the exercise thing. There was definitely, oh yeah. It, here, here's the Mayo Clinic suggestion for infertility. Avoid exposure to industrial and environmental toxins, which can <laughs> affect sperm production. 
Well, that's going to be really hard after the last couple of years of people having to do things they didn't want to do because guess what? They had to do what they had to do to save their fucking job. Um, limit caffeine for women. Well, gee, isn't that amazing? Like, you know, it's, and it's amazing, marijuana will be a different topic, but it's amazing that marijuana has been suggested from the Mayo Clinic um, as a potential risk factor for both men and women. I have a completely different opinion on marijuana than most of your spiritual people who are all for it, and people are like, it's in the Bible. I really don't think you need to have this in order to have a healthy lifestyle and to get over your ADD and whatever else. Um, it's just all facing the mirror and, and really digging deep into your psyche to overcome some of these things. So yeah, I personally think that to end this really long video that I meant it to only be a few minutes, I think it's from the feed. And when you cheapen the food, that's when things and problems happen. So in the medieval times, they had a lack of um, calories, probably just a lack of enough nutrients because when you're pregnant, you have to eat a little bit more. You don't have to go nutso. Um, you don't have to gorge, but you do need more caloric substance. Like little baby kittens, they have to eat, uh, their cat kitten food is higher in fat than adult cat food because fat you need fat in order to grow and, and produce. So um, yeah, it'd be really interesting to see what they did with that feed because the pet food area, which will be separate videos in itself sometime in the future, as I've come to realize is a big massive scam. And um, I had, you know, I lost one of my cats this year. I started, uh, well, last year, I started seeing my other cat have problems with it. And once I switched her to raw food, um, she has completely kind of healed herself. Um, so going back to that natural diet and that natural way of living seemed to work. All right, well, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And humans like chickens are meant to free range. We are meant to eat healthy food that is connected toward our natural diet and um, I would highly suggest removing uh, fake foods from your from your diet it's not going to be easy some of the stuff's like crack it's really hard to um, remove it's like a drug but anyways thank you bye bye